Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So right now I'm on business travel and I'm taking a little break, walking and talking. Uh, and I wanna talk about a couple of things real quick, do a couple of quick videos. This first video is about the NFL and its new policy. Now they have this new policy that basically requires football players to stand for the playing of the national anthem. And this comes after Colin Kaepernick led his protests against police brutality by refusing to stand during the playing of the national anthem. And you had several players follow his example. And the NFL claims that because of these protests, people had this perception that football players are not patriotic that football players are dis disrespecting the national anthem, etc. So because of this, they have implemented this policy that requires football players to stand during the playing of the national anthem. And if they do not stand during the national anthem, I'm sure that they probably face fines. Now, those who don't want to stand for the national anthem are told that they have to go to the locker rooms during the playing of the national anthem. And that's how they're addressing this issue. So I just wanted to share a couple of my thoughts about this situation. The first thing I'll say is this, it's a damn shame that these men who are famous and rich and all that kind of stuff, they are nothing but million dollar slaves. They don't have the right to speak out on these social justice issues. They are being reduced to um, a status where they are submissive to these owners and the terminology is key here. You know, these people who own these teams and run these teams, they are called owners, and they trade these black men, literally, in a sense, like you trade slaves, like you trade products that you own, like you trade property. And I think that that speaks volumes about the real nature of the NFL and its relationship to these black men. You know, these black men who represent masculinity, who represent power and all that kind of stuff, they are basically being emasculated by the NFL. They're basically being put in their place like a father puts his son in place. Just like they used to put black men in place when they called them boy, when they had to look down when dealing with white men. They had to cross the other side of the street during this uh, Jim Crow era. And now you have these black players basically being told what they can and cannot do. And this is very important because, I mean, when you look at this issue of police brutality, a very important issue that affects our community, where you had these stinking cops killing our people and getting away with murder, an outrageous situation where black life has very little value. So these are very important issues that have to be addressed and the NFL is essentially trying to prevent people from speaking on these issues by imposing this ridiculous policy. So I just had to share my thoughts on this, man. It's, it's just a shame, man. You know, you know, given the fact that black people watch these games, you know, black people support these games, black people are the players on many of these teams. Without black people, you wouldn't have a, a strong NFL like you have today. And that's something that we have to realize. We need to harness our power as a community and stand up against this injustice, man. Not only boycott the NFL for its treatment of the brother Colin Kaepernick, but boycott the NFL for this new policy that they are imposing on players. They are basically saying that, um, you know, this issue of police brutality is insignificant you know they're basically downplaying that issue and they're more concerned about these appearances of patriotism how can you be patriotic in a country that allows police to get away with murdering black men and women how can you have patriotism how can you sing about land of the free when black people aren't even free to live when black people can be killed and these police get away with it with impunity so that's what I have to say about this, man. Um, it's time for us to really be the ones to stand up on this, man. 
you know, and it's like we got to put our money where our mouth is, man. If you really are passionate about this issue of police brutality and social justice, you need to make that known to the NFL by withholding our dollars. You got people trying to rationalize uh, continuing to support uh, the NFL. They remind me of those people that probably tried to rationalize getting on those buses in um, Montgomery at the time when there were boycotts against the bus companies for treating black people like second class citizens. You have black people like rationalizing things, making excuses for things, you know, not being uh, unified around principles of justice. You know, more concerned with their own personal inconvenience. I mean, if you can have people go without public transportation for a year, you know, walking for a year, carpooling for a year to make a statement, then surely you can have people make a statement by not watching a game. So with that, I'll say peace and blessings. Tell me what you all think about this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.